Now, let me show you the best way to add borders to your videos or your images. So I'm working on these little slideshow type of thing for TikTok because I need to make some promos and stuff for the paperfall effect. And I realized that these right here looks a little bit flat. So I didn't want to just have a drop shadow or something like these. So, so in this case, it comes really handy to have that better border tools that I just released not long ago. And if you haven't heard about it, it's actually free. So go check it out. And then we just drop these to our clip right here. Now I had these uh, adjusted here in the position and that actually made it a little bit weird. So I would say that you should just leave the position of your element at zero, zero, and then go inside the fusion effect right here, and then use the positions from here to adjust this if you wanted to make these a little higher. Now, I wanted to add the mask a little bit or adjust the mask a little bit so that the video was shown completely. So I have to go all the way to that position, I think, and probably gonna make these a little bit higher as well. Now, if you wanted to make this a little bit more interesting, I added these sort of corners, right? So I'm going to make the top right corner like these. And then maybe let's see the bottom left corner. Just a little bit. I think that looks really cool and clean. Uh, it's just a little bit of an extra touch, right? And I'm going to actually adjust these to be a little bit bigger in the size. Make the size of the same as both of them. And do I want to have a drop shadow on these again? Let's try that. So I have these drop shadow on this card animation right here because this is the first light, right? I'm just going to copy that same drop shadow and I'm going to add these, just the plugin right here. And now we can see if we go to effects, open effects, we have that drop shadow. It's really subtle. Like if I change the color, let's see if I change the color, what happens? You can see the area of effect that it has. What if I make these actually like light bluish? Maybe let's see. Does that look good? Do you think that looks good or should I just leave it maybe yellow? Let's see if I add this as yellow. I think the yellow one looks actually interesting right here. I'm going to leave it yellow. Now, this one doesn't have anything, right? So I'm going to have to set that. Uh, same values to that one. So how do we do that? Well, super easy. Just control C. Now press the other one or select the other one. Alt V and we're going to copy and paste the plugins and also the fusion effect because the border is a fusion effect, right? And now it's in the correct place. So if we take a look at these part of the slideshow, we just have that little screen grab that it did. And then it just slides down the text and then the user can preview it like that and then in just a few minutes well minutes because i was explaining but in just a few seconds you can make your element go from something completely like meh to something that's actually interesting and and actually soothing to watch maybe you could say that it's nice to watch something like that it just grabs a little bit more attention so yeah that's a little tip um that i just wanted to quickly share with you all that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Here's Wally. Bye.